So in today's video, I thought I'd try a challenge. Drawing like a kid, but like an adult. So I've got these crayons right here. I feel like a kid again. I feel like I'm thrown back to the um, good old dark ages, you know? How's it going guys? My name is Mike here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying the coloring pencil challenge and I'm going to be doing this with a Pokemon style drawing. So what I'm going to be basically doing is grabbing all of these coloring pencils right here and I'm going to be creating a scene out of it and essentially have to use one, you know, each color one time as such. So it's going to be a big challenge. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to run through some tests sort of thing to kind of get a good gist of what I'm doing with it and the kind of colors and how they integrate with each other. So the first thing I want to test is how the greens and blues all work together and how I can use them with layering to kind of build up a strong sense of composition. So I've got a lighter green here, I've got a like blue color, I've got a little minty green color and then we've also got like this kind of leafy green color. So they're gonna work quite well together. Now I'm wondering if I press really hard, I'm able to get it quite dark here. So let's say I make some light leaves or something. So if I'm able to, let me just first test this. So I can go back over this and make parts of it darker, which is fine. Can I use a blue then to go back into it and create darker areas? Now it looks like I can if I kind of almost cross hatch it as such. I can actually make quite an interesting effect right here. You can see here right here that I've got like quite an interesting effect. So if I kind of cross hatch, I can find that I can create some interesting shadows. Now, another thing I want to use, obviously, is, let's say, for example, I'm using this, like, brownie color. Let's make a rock. For example, if I'm making a rock or a stone, what I want to make sure I'm doing, though, is that if I'm shading it like this, I want to make sure I leave the highlight either white or use, you know, another color for it. Now, can I use this kind of darker brown? Looks like I kind of can. It quite, it's quite a nice effect, actually, what create, uh, is created by this, you know? So it's got, like, quite a... I don't know, it's kind of like a blend, a gradient sort of thing. And I think it works quite nicely with this, if you look here. So if I can utilise this, I should be able to get some really nice line work and some really nice shadows. If I keep layering into this, I'm able to get some really nice tones going on. Another idea I wanted to try was how does the black affect this as well, because obviously it's good to know if I want to create really dense shadows. So the black kind of it takes the colour existing and just kind of does like a little bit of a darken of it, as opposed to creating like a black colour. It's kind of like a grey really if you look here in this area here. It's quite a grey tone and I can obviously sweep it across make a really nice grey tone. So I'm just gonna get like a colour swatch of every colour and I'll get right back with you guys. So as we can see here, here are all my colours right here. So we've got quite a range, you know, they're quite opposite some of them. So some are quite dark and saturated and others are quite light and cheerful. So I'm going to try and use this in a way that makes a bit of sense. I want to do a kind of pond sort of theme. So I'm definitely going to build up some little thumbnails just to get an idea of what kind of composition I want to go for. And I'm definitely doing this on an A4 piece of paper because I feel like A3, which we're using right now, is going to be overly excessive and will take ages to do. So I'm going to avoid doing that. Right, so I'm going to make some little thumbnail sketches just down here. So we'll use this dark blue colour just for the like, kind of basis of these. So we'll pretend these are our A4 pieces of paper. Right, so my first kind of idea is, is like kind of leaves kind of coming out here, leaves coming out here, kind of a pond in the middle, some bushes I guess, you know, we want to utilise all the colours, maybe the sun coming over, and then obviously we want to have some Pokemon so we could have a Caterpie maybe, 
just cut here. I could also possibly have like some kind of zigzagoon or something like that. You know, just over here, utilizing some of that brown colors and maybe like a Pikachu as well, because you gotta have the staple Pikachu. Or maybe an Eevee. An Eevee would work nicely. So that's the first idea. Then we've also got this idea where I could do maybe a sky scene. So I have like the clouds. And then we could have like a mountain in the distance. And I could have like a building on it. So, you know, like sort of like the Pokemon League. And then you could obviously have the bird Pokemon around it. So we could have like a Staravia. Uh, we could have like a Pidgeot. And in the foreground we could have like a ho or something like that, you know? Something just in the foreground, something quite bold. And then we could obviously get like some nice colours there. So another one we could try is more like a town theme. So we could have like a building here, like a Pokemon Mart. And down the side of it we could have like some trash cans. We could have some Trubbish sat in the trash cans, you know? We could also have like a Meowth just sat over here. You know, just chilling over here. This is just a thumbnail, just getting the idea of things. You know, we could have someone walking along. So that would be a nice idea. And then we've also got the idea of, we could do some kind of sea theme. So we've obviously got the waves. We could have a Lapras just chilling on the waves. We could have some Wingle going by. We could obviously have some Pokemon in here. So like a Tentacle, maybe a Sea King. So we could do something like that. So we've got a forest theme, a mountain theme, a city theme, and a sea theme. Now I think I'm going to go for the forest theme because that seems like the most concise idea I've got. So I'm just going to get straight into it.
tripod. So there we have it guys, that's the end of that. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know what you guys thought. I really enjoyed this one, I think it turned out amazingly. I love how we've got the little pond here and the trees and you know the plants. It looks really bright. I think I'm going to add a bit of fine liner to it, so I might put that at the end of this video. If not, it'll look awesome anyway. You can probably go check out the finished result on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter at MikeyPKMN, short for Mike Your Pokemon. And yeah, just go check me out and be sure to comment and let me know what you thought down below and let me know what kind of challenge you want me to do next. And I will see you guys in the next video.